What is going on guys, Joe here, back with another video, and recently Apple pushed out a public beta of OS X El Capitan, which if you're not aware, it's going to be the upcoming operating system for Mac that will be launching in the fall. Now if you want to check out the public beta of El Capitan, I will leave a step-by-step -step tutorial down below in the description of how to run it on your Mac. Now with this new operating system, it is set to give you an easier and smarter way to doing tasks, and an improvement in performance, and much more. But today we'll be taking a look at some of my top favorite features that are in El Capitan. First, let's start off with the Mail app. Now in El Capitan, we get an improved full screen support and swipe gestures, letting you make quick work. So now when browsing through your email, you'll be able to manage with a swipe just like you can on your iOS devices. By swiping to the right with two fingers, you can mark an email as read or unread. And then if you swipe to the left, you can delete that email. So when working in the mail app in full screen mode, it gives you some additional features, making it a little bit more easier to do some work. Now when it comes to composing a new email, you can now hide it at the bottom if you'd like to access a new email just like you can on iOS. Also instead of having multiple windows open, if you are composing different emails, it'll now open them in different tabs. So it'll now be a little more organized and organization is always a great thing to have. Now another thing is you'll be able to simply click and drop a photo into a mail from another email. So when working in the full screen mode when using the mail app, I think these features would be a great addition to make things a lot more simple. Now next let's talk about the cursor. Now while this is not a crazy feature, it could save you a few seconds. With El Capitan, you can now call out your cursor by simply shaking your mouse or shaking your finger back and forth on your trackpad. When you do that, the cursor will get bigger so it's easy to spot. Now let's talk a little bit about Safari. So when using Safari, you are now able to pin sites keeping your favorite websites handy. So by simply grabbing the tab and then dragging it to the left part of the Safari window, it'll create a pin tab. They will stay active in the background so you can go ahead and leave them there. And they will even stay pinned if you close out the window. Now when it comes to opening links from a pin tab, for example, if you're on Twitter and then open up a link, that pin tab will stay pinned and then it'll go ahead and open up a new tab of that link that you clicked. Now also one of the features I can see myself using all the time is the ability to mute audio from open tabs. If you run into situations when you have a lot of tabs open and then all of a sudden you hear some audio coming out from a random tab, it sometimes is a struggle to find that certain tab and close it out to stop the audio. Now with El Capitan, you can now mute audio by simply tapping on the audio icon on the tab that will display on there. Or even easier, you can mute all audio from every tab by tapping the audio off icon in the smart search field. Now next is a feature that deals with multiple app windows. Now you'll be able to use a feature called split view allowing you to easily use two apps in full screen mode. And yes, before you say anything, this is very similar to windows. So when opening an app, you can click on the green button on the top left and it'll go into full screen mode. But if you want to do a split view, all you got to do is simply press and hold the green button and then now you'll be able to drag the window either to the left or right part of the screen. It'll then have the expose show up of the other apps that you have open and then you can go ahead and click on an app and then that app will take the other half of the screen. You can also drag a window up to spaces and then you can do a split view or a full screen when dropping it into a separate window. So I can see this being one of my favorite features as I already use a third party little application that allows me to split the windows. Now let's talk about Spotlight. In El Capitan, when launching Spotlight, you can now resize and move the window so it won't be in the way. But when it comes to searching in Spotlight, it gives you more search results such as weather, sports scores, and more. You can also find files using natural language. So when looking for something, you'll simply type it the way you'll say it. Now in case you're curious about the MacBook stand you saw earlier in the video, this is going to be the Alubase vertical stand from a company known as Just Mobile. I've been using this in my desk setup and it's a pretty simple product but it is useful. It's made from a high grade aluminum and does have some weight to it so it doesn't feel cheap at all but it does go well with all of your Mac products. So I use this on my MacBook Pro with Retina but it also works with regular MacBook Pros without a Retina display and also MacBook Airs. I've been using it to not only make my desk look neater, but a very useful thing is the fact that I can have it sit there when I want to work on a larger display. So in case you haven't noticed, I've actually stepped up the game in video quality, and that is because I stepped up to 4K content. So if I try to use just my regular iMac, it doesn't do very well with 4K content, but Luckily my MacBook Pro with Retina actually does the job and using this I can simply hook up everything 
from my MacBook Pro to my iMac to use its display and it will just sit there neatly with the cables that I need. So I'm able to use my MacBook Pro but on a larger display and it doesn't have my MacBook just sitting on my desk. So if you are looking for something that will make things look nicer on your desk or just kind of clear things up, definitely check out this Alubase vertical stand from Just Mobile. I'll leave all the details and everything in the description below. But anyways guys, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for this video. As always, if you did enjoy it, please let me know by hitting that like button as it not only lets me know that you liked it, but it does support the channel. Also, if you're not yet following me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or Instagram, I'll leave all the details down below in the description. That way you can follow me and stay up to date with the latest. I'm very active on Twitter and Instagram, so be sure to follow me on those. And lastly, if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified every time I come out with a new video. But other than that, if you've already used El Capitan, if you're currently using it, let me know what your favorite feature is in the comment section below. But thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate your support very much. Anyways, I'll catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.